Hi guys, it's Matt here from pilotpracticeexams.com. So this is a quick video to show you how to identify, quickly identify the active and the dead site. Now, the people who need this video are the people who are doing cross country, the people who are learning to fly and coming back into the active circuit area, or people who are having a bit of trouble identifying once they're overhead which ones is which. Now, I just want to make a quick comment on that. When you do start your nav training, or if you're flying navs with large breaks in between, which is most people, um, it can become, you can get very overworked when you fly overhead an unfamiliar aerodrome in terms of trying to identify this because you come in fatigued after say, you know, an hour and a half, two hours, three hours, five hours of cross country and you think, oh, 10 miles, I'll have heaps of time to prepare. But by the time you make your inbound, by the time you start trying to spot the airfield and you're really trying to spot it, you're looking for traffic, you get overhead, it's unfamiliar, and you just get very, very overworked. So you need to practice this on the ground. Okay, so let's get into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a bunch of slides like this, and I'm going to get you to identify, first of all, the active side and then the dead side. So I'm just going to give you one example right now. And then we're going to get into it and start testing you. So if, for example, here, um, wh which one would you pick as the active? All right. Now, hopefully, what you've done is you've used the wind sock to identify the direction the wind is blowing. Okay. Now, let's um, take a look so I can explain it with arrows for you. All right. So this is the same diagram you just saw above, but I've put the arrows on it. So find the active explanation. All right. So the wind is always blowing where the windsock is pointing. The windsock is an arrow, okay? And it's pointing in the direction the wind is blowing, which means we need to land and take off in the opposite direction. This video is going to be solely focused on landing, and the reason is is because um, that's the one that where you're going to be overworked. You, when you're sitting on the ground on your run-ups, you've got plenty of time to assess which is the active runway, okay, or before you even start the aircraft. But once you're overhead, um, and especially if there's other traffic around, it's a decision that you need to be able to make. So if the wind is blowing that way, that means our landing is going to be the opposite direction. Our active is going to be 2-7. Okay? If the wind is blowing this way, our active is going to be the opposite way. It's going to be 0-3. Okay? If the wind is blowing that way, we need to select the most appropriate runway, which is this one here. Okay? And we need to land in that direction, which is 0, 9. Here, if the wind is blowing that way, we need to select the opposite direction, which is 2, 1. Okay? So that's how to select your runway, the, find the active runway. So let's give you a little test. Okay, so I want you to find the active runway here for all of these. Right? So pause the video and then come back and I'll show you the answers. Okay, so welcome back. Here is the answers for that. Okay, so this one here, easy. Wind's blowing that way, okay? So you're going to come in the opposite way. The closest wind to that, uh, closest runway to that is going to be 2-1. This one here, um, wind's blowing that direction. You'll, you need to come in the opposite, which is that. You certainly can't use that one. That's perpendicular, so you're going to have to use this one, which is 2-7. Okay, this one here, wind's blowing that way. Easy, that means you're going to come in that way, runway 27. Okay, this one here, wind's blowing that way. Closest runway to that is going to be 2-1. You're going to come in in that direction. Okay, so that's easy how to find the active runway. Now, the key to that for you is to remember that the wind sock is a pointer and it is pointing in the direction that the wind is blowing and you need to come in in the opposite direction. In the next slide I'm going to show you, you're going to have to identify the dead side. So that you're overhead, you're at 2000, and you're going to identify the dead side so you can descend on the dead side away from the active uh, traffic that's in the circuit pattern. So let's go down and you can pause the video and write them down on a bit of paper or whatever, and then come back and I'll um, reveal the answers. So there's the four you're after, pause the video. Okay, welcome back. I'm about to show you the answers, so let's have a look. Okay, so this one here, A, wind's blowing, I'm just not going to explain all of this, I'm just going to explain A and then we're going to move on. So the wind is blowing that way, which means you're going to have to come in in that direction. Okay, the most appropriate 
one for that direction is runway two one, which means, and where they're all left circuits, okay. So you're going to have to turn around to your left, and which means this is going to be the active side over here if they're doing circuits, and this here is going to be the dead side. Okay, so if you're overhead, you would firstly identify which is your active runway. You know your circuit direction because you looked it up in URSA, and then URSA facilities, and then you would uh, visually work out in your head. Okay, two ones the active, and all you do is you go down and you turn left, and you turn left, and you turn left. Okay, that's the easiest way to identify it. Just fly overhead and go, right, 2 ones the active, start doing a visualisation of your aircraft going down there and turning left. And that is the quickest way to identify the dead side. And you can do the same for all of these. Pause the video if you need some time to do that. Okay, the next slide is going to be all right-hand circuits. And you need to do the same thing. Identify the active, identify the, um, sorry, identify the wind direction, identify the active, and then identify the dead side as if you were overhead at 2,000. So here they are, pause the video and try and identify them. Okay, welcome back, I'm about to show the answers. So here's the answers, and then I'll explain one. Okay, so let's explain this one here. 20, you run, you're flying overhead, you identify that the wind is blowing in that direction. Okay, so you work out that coming in in that direction is going to be less, 2, 7. So then you... These are all right-hand circuits, so you, then what you do is you visualise yourself flying down there and turning right, and that becomes the live side, which means that this is the dead side. And that's all you do. So hopefully you've got all of those right. If not, go back and do them, and um, you know practice. You can print these out and practice um, changing the... Just draw the windsock in different positions for yourself and practice it. Okay, the next one. In these ones, I want you to identify both the active and the dead side and pay attention because the circuit directions change. This one's left, this one's right. This one has left circuits for 1027, right for 03 and 09, and this one is right circuits for 21 and 27 and left for 03 09. So pause the video and please try and work those out. Okay, welcome back. I'm going to reveal the answers now. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is just identify which way, which runway is active. So we've shown you how to do that above. Wind's blowing that way. Left circuit and in and landing. Left, that's our uh, runway direction. This one here, wind's blowing that way. That's our active. Okay, this one, wind's blowing that way. That's our active. This one here, the wind is blowing that way, which means that's our active. Okay, so now let's take a look at finding the active and the dead side together using the circuit directions as well. So the wind's blowing that way, means we're landing that way. It's a left circuit, so we draw our line and we fly off it and, and turn left, which makes that the dead side. This one here's a right circuit. Wind's blowing this way, means we're going to land this way, and then we're going to turn right. Okay, so this becomes the active side over here, and there's the dead side. This one here, just once more. Okay, wind's blowing that way, landing direction's that way, now this one we need to be careful, it's got different circuit directions. We're on runway 21, up here in Ursa, it says left circuits for runway 21. And so that, what that means is we go down runway 21, we turn left, that becomes our active side, there's our dead side. Okay, I'll do one last one because this is the end of the video. Wind is blowing that way, means we're going to lean in that direction. Okay. Now we need to be very careful, and we check it out, and it says left circuit 09. So we're going to go off 09, and we're going to go left, like so, and that, that means that this side is going to be the dead side, and that side's the active side. So I hope that's helped. I'm Matt from pilotpracticeexams.com, where you can pass in half the time. Please give us a like, share, um, give me a comment, let me know that you like this type of stuff, because I will reproduce more of the type of stuff that you like. And if you want um, access to thousands of practice questions so you can really get through your pilot exams for RAOs, PPL, CPL, RPL, and head on over to pilotpracticeexams.com now.